Hey guys, so today you guys are going to be coming book shopping with me. I'm going to Barnes Noble and Half Price Books. I'm hoping to find some goodies. I have some books in mind of what I want to get. Um, shh, bruiser. So, um, I'm really excited and I am excited to find some goodies and some gems at Half Price Books because one of my favorite things to do is just go searching and Find, and trying to find um, gems in places so of uh, books and it makes me really happy. It's even more fun than shopping online. So um, let's go and we will go to, I don't know which one we'll go to first, but I will definitely let you know. About to leave, already packing. Come with and of course we have the little puppies with us. We have Bruiser and then that's Luna. Luna, are you tired, honey? You tired? And there's Goldie. She is an old gal. She lives under a cave at the table. But Luna, Luna, say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, I'll show some more Luna content later. Oops. Hi, honey. <laughs> Say bye. Bye. Say bye. Fun. <clears throat> Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so. Down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down. I got some goodies so let me show you okay so first of all I live more towards the city um, and so I went a little out of my ways to go to this these two locations they're kind of right next to each other so it was really nice um, being able to go to both of those at the same time and I found some really great books that I've been wanting for a really long time so, um, I first went to Half Price Books, and I have some clips of that, so I'll definitely put that throughout here, um, in the video, but anyways, I found some really amazing things, and I saw, um, a whole, like, shelf of Kendall Ryan's books, and I was, like, debating if I should get some, and I saw a bunch of Julia Quinn's books, so they had a really great selection, so I'm super excited to show you what I got. So, the first book I got is by Elizabeth Lau. This is called Forbidden, and the main reason why I got it was because of the step back. It's gorgeous. Oh my god. I am obsessed, so I just cannot wait to show that off on my Instagram and stuff like that. And then I got um, Third Sons, A Charm by Shanna Galen. Um, I know Peace, Jess from Peace of Books really enjoyed this one, um, so I'm really excited to read it. Um, I don't even really know what this is about, but I am excited to read it, and it seems really good, and the cover's really, really pretty. I love this dress. It's gorgeous. So I'm just, I'm really excited to read this one. And then the next book that I got was The Girl with the Make-Believe Husband by Julia Quinn. So I just am kind of making it my mission to um, kind of collect all of Julia Quinn's books. So this one's really fun and I don't know which series this is a part of. 
Um, I feel like one of them that is looks like this and has one of these like titles that are similar to this one is like a pirate one. So I don't know, but it looked interesting and I know I want to expand my collection of Julie Quinn's books. So the next book I got was by Lenora Bell. This is Love is a Rogue. And I've just been starting to collect Lenora Bell's books. So I'm really happy that I got to get this one. I found it. Um, and I haven't, I don't have this one in my collection, so that's why I got it. Okay, so the next one is by Eloisa James, and this is, I think, the newest book in the Wild series. Um, and I'm trying to collect Eloisa James' book, books, especially this series. So that's one of the reasons why I got this one. I've heard really great things, so I'm excited to read this one. And then the last book I got is another Shanna Galen book I saw there, and so I just had to grab it. Um, and I don't really know what it's about, but I know that a lot of, um, especially Lisa from Remarkably Lisa, really likes this author, so I'm excited to try this one out. Okay, now for the Barnes & Noble book haul, and I have something so exciting to share with you guys. Okay, so I was perusing around Barnes & Noble. This one had such great selection. OMG, y'all. Like, I was dying at some of the books I was finding. They had, like, most of Penelope Douglas's books there. They had a lot of, like, TikTok favorites. They had such a good selection instead of, like, the one that I usually go to that's by my house. But the one thing that I died when I saw, literally died inside was A Shadow in the Ember by Jennifer L. Armentrott. Mind you, it is October 16th right now. And this comes out October 19th, so they had early copies. But y'all, this was $31. And I was like, Ugh, when I saw that. But then I was like, it's worth it. It's worth it. There's dragons in this. I This is one of my most anticipated reads of the year. And I actually did pre-order pre it on Amazon, but when I saw this, I canceled my order. And I was like, I have to get this today, here, right now. So, very, very exciting. Um, and they had a lot of great selection of romance books there, which I really enjoyed. And um, they had a great selection of romance books. Um, they had so many different authors. They had a lot of Jennifer L. Armentrout. Um, they had Penelope Douglas. They had Talia Hibbert. They had um, Laura Thalassa. Uh, I'm trying to, Harley LaCroix, the one that is by, it's called The Dare. They had that there, which I thought was interesting. They had the Spanish Love Deception, which is the first time I've ever seen that in a Barnes & Noble because I don't know why. It's just in my area, I guess. It's super hard to find personally. And then the other book I got was um, Kafka on the Shores by Haruk. Hi, Mark Murakami. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, but I am hoping to read this soon. Um, I, y'all know I'm a romance reader and I love romance, but sometimes I like to dabble in some other genres. I don't know what you would consider this one. Maybe it's definitely fiction, but it has a little bit of fantasy elements. I've heard it's just a classic, amazing read. Um, and it's about um Kafka Tamara who is on the run and Nakata an aging um simpleton who is drawn to Kafka for reasons that he cannot fathom I've heard there's um talking cats in this one and I've just heard there's a lot of great symbolism and amazingness in this book so I decided to grab it um and I'm really excited to read this one um but that's kind of what I bought at Barnes and Noble and half price books. Um, honestly, I, my dream would be to be able to go into an Amazon warehouse that is just full of books, like full of all indie romance authors and me just them all being like half price. And then just me just like buying a bunch and just being so happy because like, I know some people are against Amazon and rightfully so, but Amazon has a lot of, um, has most indie authors books um there to buy and unlike a lot of other stores like Barnes Noble it's like one of the big ones that I can buy a lot of the books that I want to read um so I would just like be so happy and like <laughs> I would love that but I don't think that's ever gonna happen but 
it's in my wildest dreams and i think i actually for a shadow in the ember i'm gonna start a reading vlog for this because i'm just so excited i've heard there's dragons in this one um and i'm just so excited for this book um i actually i read these hollow vows um by lexi ryan and I returned it because I read it in like a day and normally I don't do this like read a book in a day and then return it but I just really didn't like I like I mean it was I, it kept me reading but I didn't really like it and I ended up like really not liking it at the end so you'll definitely have to tune in for my wrap up for that one but that's all I really have to say right now uh, oh also there may be after reading that book these hollow vows it was about like um, and had Faye and stuff. I might be doing a um, romance, like fantasy Faye <laughs> reading vlog because I'm just so in the mood right now and I actually have like all of the books that I would want to read for it. So keep on the lookout for that. I may be doing that soon because I'm really excited for that. Um, but that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had so f much fun making it. Um, probably in future come book shopping with me videos. I'll um definitely film a lot more but it's just it makes me a little uncomfortable i don't know if it makes other people uncomfortable when they're filming in public i just don't want to be like yelled at by someone and i don't want to like get in trouble which sounds so stupid but anyways um that's all for right now and i'll see you guys later i love you guys and i hope you have a great day wherever you are bye Mwah.